This is the Franchise Thunder Report, presented by Massengale Eye Care, Oklahoma City's leading eye care provider since 1989. Call 631-2020. Greetings, Thunder fans. All good in Game 1 of the 2017-18 campaign as the Oklahoma City Thunder beat the New York Knicks 105-84. Russell Westbrook picks up where he left off last season. He had a triple-double with 21 points, 16 assists, and 10 rebounds. Paul George led all Thunder scores with 28. Carmelo Anthony had 22 against his old team, and Steven Adams had 12. Those are the only four players in double digits. Oklahoma City didn't shoot 30% from three-point range, but they really didn't need to, outscoring the Knicks by 17 points over the second and third quarters to put this one away. Let's go to the podium now and start with Billy Donovan. I thought in the first half we got a lot of you know, really, really good looks, um, both at the rim and from behind the line. We didn't shoot the ball particularly well. Um, I thought we played better offensively um, in terms of just more fluid in, in, in the second half. Uh, but the biggest thing for us was just our defense. Um, been really pleased with that you know, since the start of training camp. They've done a really good job defensively, um, schematically trying to do the things that, that we're asking them to do. And um, I think by, by playing great defense, especially this early in the season, where probably most teams are trying to find their way. It gives you at least a little bit of room where if you don't have a great offensive night or you're trying to figure it out offensively, you, you can really fall back to your defense. So, you know, for a first game, there'll be a lot of things that we can take from this, I think, and, and grow from and learn from and, and try to make improvements. Forced 26 turnovers. What was the key defensively for you all tonight? Um, choosing our length, our size. Um, like I said, since training camp for us to win, we got to defend at a high level tonight. Uh, we did that for, for a good part of the game. What's the key in transition to turning those defensive stops into offense? You had 36 fast break points tonight. Um, just getting them and going. You know, we got a lot of people that can bring the ball up. Um, just being able to get out and run a break, using our, our speed, as I said, and getting out. How did it feel on the fast breaks? You got PG on one side and Melo on the other side. It seemed like the, the offense was flowing. And yeah. uh, you all combined for 71 points as well. Yeah, man, we, you know, just getting started. You know, just got to figure it out. You know, we're going to constantly keep pushing the ball. I'm going to constantly keep pushing and keep finding those guys. And obviously, it makes it easier uh, for me. Um, and those guys are going to keep running. Did that feel like first offensive possession to get the offensive rebound and kick out to, to Melo and see him splash? Oh, uh, that's great, man. Uh, I knew it was going in before. I, I didn't even look at it, but I knew it was going in. Uh, I know to get the crowd going, get him involved uh, early on was, was, was great. Camelo, uh, how'd that first shot feel when it uh, left your hand? It felt good. I was, I was actually surprised that uh, the first shot was that wide open, but just happy it went in, got that first shot out the way, and was able to just focus on the game after that. After the game, it wasn't just you or just Russ or just Paul getting the post-game interview. You guys all did that together. How'd, how'd that come about? I don't know. We got we got pulled together. Uh, I don't know. Um, it felt good though. It felt good to have to uh, <clears throat> kind of share that with, with with other guys, share that moment uh, with, with Russ and PG. And, um, you know, hopefully it's a lot of those type of interviews where all three of us is talking, you know, with each other, just showing the, you know, how committed we are to one another, uh, the sacrifices that we that we're going to make, that we're willing to make. Uh, and, you know, it's on us. I think tonight was, you know, a great start for us. And as a result, we got a chance to reap some of the benefits of the win tonight of, of doing an interview with three guys. Once again, Carmelo Anthony, 22 points in tonight's game. Oklahoma City wins in front of another sellout, 18,203. Watch as the Thunder beat the New York Knicks 105-84. to Next up for Oklahoma City, the Utah Jazz on Saturday night. It's an 8 o'clock Oklahoma time tip-off on Fox Sports Oklahoma. Our next Thunder pregame on the franchise will be Sunday at 5 o'clock from Heyday in Lower Bricktown prior to a home game against the Minnesota Timberwolves with a 6 o'clock tip-off in Chesapeake Energy Arena. Thanks for watching this edition of the Franchise Thunder Report. I'm David Garrett for Oklahoma's New Sound for Sports, 1077 The Franchise Oklahoma City, 1079 The Franchise Tulsa.